Well, well, here we are. Hi everyone, my name is Zeke. I'm a projectionist and member of the programming committee over at the Bay Theater. I'm here today to introduce you to The Breakfast Club, which just celebrated its 35th year anniversary. In those 35 years, it's brought home a MTV Silver Bucket of Excellence Award and about $50 million, which is actually around $120 million if you calculate for inflation these days. Not so bad with a budget of a million dollars. This club has a young cast of Anthony Michael Hall, John Nelson, Ali Sheedy, Paul Gleason, and Molly Ringwald. It was written and directed by John Hughes, who's known for a lot of other great teen movies of the decade, such as Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and obviously The Breakfast Club, but also some family movies later in the decade, such as Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. John Hughes is undoubtedly a great filmmaker, and I'd say that The Breakfast Club is some of his best work. If he gets up, we'll all get up. It'll be anarchy. For those of you who don't know, The Breakfast Club is the story of a brain, a jock, a rebel, a basket case, and a princess. All of them from different social groups in the same high school, but they all spend the day together in detention and avoiding the wrath of their principal watching over them. As the hours pass, they learn more about each other, why they all got detention, and most importantly about themselves. Each of the characters is brilliantly portrayed by the young stars. The emotional ups and downs that this movie will take you on without even leaving the room is astonishing. For one moment, you'll be dancing and bobbing your head to We're Not Alone by Carla DeVito. Well, a few moments later, they're all sitting together in a group therapy session that's going to bring tears to your eyes. By the time the day is done, none of these students is going to be the same. I mean, I consider you guys my friends. I'm not wrong, am I? I had the wonderful opportunity to watch The Breakfast Club for the first time in my high school film class. I've, of course, heard of The Breakfast Club before, and I knew it was great, but it just never really popped up on my radar. But as soon as we started watching it, I was just enthralled by the gradual character development and the quick and witty humor, and just the excitement of hoping they don't get caught by the principal. And after I finished watching it the first time, I mean, I'm still in, I was still in school at the time, and I looked around, and it actually makes you think about school and social groups, and it was pretty easy to spot all the different groups, but, you know, it made me think. It made me think about why they act the way they are, and why I act the way I am. This is why I love The Breakfast Club. It's one of the few movies that actually changed the way I think after seeing it, and I'll be honest, not all movies do that for me. And you, I will not be made a fool of. Another reason that I really love The Breakfast Club is it is just full of behind the scenes fun and creativity. Many of the moments in the movie were improvised lines by the actors that director John Hughes decided to keep in the final product. Whether it's having a fake ID just to vote or an iconic fist raised in the air at the very end of the movie. John Hughes really let the characters shine with the actor playing them. And John Nelson was a great example of this. Eat my shorts. What was that? Eat my shorts. This especially includes Judd Nelson. He stayed in character as Bender throughout the entire shooting of The Breakfast Club. Much to the dismay of some of his co-stars who had to deal with Bender's antics even after the director called cut. He also went undercover in a local high school to, you know, refresh himself and research what being a high schooler is like again. And he even uh, bought some beers for his classmates with his fake ID. And this is the worst fake ID I've ever seen. <laughs> you realize you made yourself 68? I know, I know. I goofed it. What do you need a fake ID for? So I can vote. The Breakfast Club was filmed on one location, with like seven actors and a million dollars to pay everyone. Yet, yeah, John Hughes and everyone working on it managed to make one of the most lasting movies of the decade. And it's just about people. Just some kids in detention, not liking their teachers. 
it's not anything groundbreaking it's not anything that's super explosive and exciting but it still sticks around today and i think that's special because it teaches us about each other and a lot about ourselves don't mess with the bull young man you'll get the horns once again my name is zeke smith i'd like to thank all of you guys for tuning in and checking out our beyond the bay series I look forward to speaking with all of you guys next week as we have our Q&A live stream about The Breakfast Club. Thank you.